Good morning, everyone. It's about half past six, six forty in the morning, and I'm making my first cup of coffee. So this is kind of my breakfast, and I don't tend to eat in the morning. It's kind of a habit that goes way before keto days, and it's just as good because it naturally gives me some fasting time. So it, it works out quite effortlessly. So I'm going to go and enjoy this cup of coffee. This is a Saturday morning, so I'm going to do a morning yoga class. And uh, it's hot yoga today. I'm quite lucky to have a um, hot yoga studio nearby. So I'm going to go and do that, and I'll see you when I come back. Right, so it's two o'clock in the afternoon, and uh, I came back from yoga a few hours ago. You know, I'm one of those people who can't eat anything after exercise. I have to leave it for two or three hours sometimes before I can actually eat anything. So this is about the right time. So I've got this beautiful, beautiful cauliflower here. I think I'm going to make a Buddha bowl using this beautiful cauliflower, along with a few other goodies. This cauliflower is so fresh. And I'm going to just break them up in florets. So a Buddha bowl for me is basically a bowl of heavenly ingredients that are not only good for you, but absolutely delicious. Lovely. And a courgette here. I'm going to just... Oops. And a carrot. And then one avocado. And these are all my favorite things. Just look at these plants. Just enough to put me in a really good mood. I'm going to cut into cubes as well. And then scoop out all the cubes. Lovely jubbly. I mean, you can only do this when it's really ripe. And in my frying pan, I'm going to drizzle with some olive oil. And I'm going to just pop in my cauliflower florets. A whole lot, actually. The sizzling, I'm going to just give it a little stir. Oh, the lovely brown bits. That's the best bits. So I'm going to cook the florets till they're tender and caramelized. Looking really good. And I'm going to sprinkle some sea salt. So I'm using molten salt. Right, I think they're ready. And I'm going to quickly saute my courgette as well. Olive oil in, courgette in. It's delightful cubes. A little stir. It'll take no time to cook. And again, some sea salt. Great, I think it's ready. Lovely. You don't want to overcook courgette. Right, a nice big bowl. I'm going to just have my cauliflower in the center here. I mean, you can arrange any way that pleases you, and that's a fun thing about Buddha bowls. Look at how roasted and lovely they are. It's a little mountain. And then my courgette. So I'm going to just place them around the sides. I'm improvising here. And then some avocado cubes. Which is so lovely. And then the carrots. And then I'm going to drizzle it with my favorite thing at the moment. So I actually found this in my local health food store. So it's basically roasted chili. So it's red chili peppers and it's so delicious. It's got a little bit of kick to it, but oh, is it worth it? So it's really just red peppers and olive oil and some seasoning. And it just does wonder to everything you eat. And it's naturally low carb and uh, it's 
just so much flavors. So I'm going to just drizzle it on top. So just a few cups for a couple of tablespoons. It's totally worth it. And then I'm going to sprinkle a few pistachio kernels. Give it a little crunch. And then some basil leaves. Can't go wrong with basil. Goes with everything. I'm going to drizzle a little bit of extra virgin um, olive oil and a little sprinkle of sea salt. Right, this is my lunch ready. Ugh, oh, it's just such an explosion of everything I love. And to go with it, I'm having this nice cup of peppermint tea, my favorite. And that's my lunch. Dig in. Oh, I love cauliflower, just the whole chunk. Look at that. The sauce. Mmm. Just so perfect. This bowl is going to give me a lot of energy today. And I'm going to go and sit down and enjoy it. Well, it's about half past seven in the evening. And uh, I'm actually not hungry at all after that big bowl of heaven. But I quite fancy some chocolate and maybe some of the nuts as well. So that's what I'm going to do. So this is from Montezuma's. This is 74% cacao. I use the 100% for baking and cooking a lot. I know a lot of you um, advanced chocolate eaters, you can handle 100%, you know, eating is straight. But I'm not as hardcore. For me, it's way too bitter. So I tend to go for sort of, you know, 75 upwards, 85%, something like that. So this one probably has a few more carbs comparing to 100%, but it's not bad at all. It's um, eight grams per 25 grams. So, and most of the times I just have a couple pieces or three. And this is really delicious. So I'm going to just, just this much, I think for me. Break them apart and I'm going to have a few nuts as well. So these are unroasted. I've got almonds, pecans, some hazelnuts and macadamia nuts. These would do me nicely. So in the evenings I tend not to have a full meal. I'm just not hungry because my main meal is quite late in the day, normally about two to three and uh, so unless I go out if I have social events I have to go out and uh, have meals then I eat something more substantial otherwise I'm just happy to um, nibble on something and these are my choices for today and to go with my evening snacks I'm going to have Tulsi tea this tea is so nice I've been drinking for years so these are called holy basil leaves I think I've kind of looked it up before and this is really soothing and really helps with the sleep as well. So if you have problems sleeping, give it a try. With chamomile, a lot of times I feel drowsy in the morning, but this is just really nice and comforting. I'm going to make this tea. So I'm going to go and sit back and enjoy my evening snacks. So if I finish eating at around, I don't know, eight, half past eight, and not eating again till about two to three tomorrow, it kind of naturally creates that about 16, 15, 16 hours of fasting period. And I kind of just do that naturally. I don't consciously count the length of time. So it kind of works for me quite nicely. My body doesn't resist. So it's quite effortless. And if it's effortless, it's sustainable and it's enjoyable. So I'm going to sit back and enjoy my snacks and drink my tea and I'll see you soon.